children releasing a surprising study saying all humans alive today are the offspring of a common mother and father from up to 200,000 years ago. All right, our next guest says this is no surprise to people of faith. So did science just confirm the word of God? Fox News contributor Pastor Robert Jeffress joins us right now live from Dallas. Pastor, when you, you think about it, uh, this study suggests all humans alive today, the offspring of a common father and mother, which sounds a <laughs> lot like Adam and Eve. Well, it does, Steve. And let's be clear, these scientists are not fully embracing the Genesis account of creation, but there are some interesting parallels. Like you said, they're saying that all humans today can be traced to a single father and mother who lived about 100,000 years ago, and they say that 90% of animals today can be traced back to ancestors who started reproducing 200,000 years ago because of some cataclysmic event like the Big Bang. We know from the Bible that, in fact, we do have a common father and mother, Adam and Eve, who are not the result of tadpole mutations, but of divine creation, and that all life is the result not of a big bang, but of a big God. So there are some interesting parallels here. What do you say, Pastor, to skeptics who say, you know, evolution, uh, you know, species developed for millions of years, and maybe 100,000 or 200,000 years ago, something catastrophic happened in nature or otherwise, left these two people who were then left appropriate, and this is just part of evolution as, as it happened. You know, it takes more faith to believe in the evolutionist theory of the origin of life than the biblical uh, creation account. And here's why. You ask the evolutionist, how did life begin? He says, well, it started with a single cell that mutated over billions of years. And yet you ask, how did that cell come into being? He says, by chance. Uh, Sir Frederick Hoyle, a Cambridge astrophysicist, said the chance of a cell as complex as it is coming into being by itself is 1 in 10 to the 40,000th power. That is a 1 with 40,000 zeros behind it. Hoyle said that's enough zeros to bury Darwin and his theory of evolution forever. And that's why the Bible says the fool, literally in Hebrew, the moron, has said in his heart, there is no God. A, a, a complex creation demands a divine creator. Well, you know, Pastor, it's not every day where a scientific study actually backs up one of the Bible stories, so this is new for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, uh, we don't depend upon science to prove the Bible. Science can't prove the Bible any more mm -hmm. than I can prove that I had a banana for breakfast this morning, but I can offer some convincing evidence. And there are divine footprints all throughout creation. Look at cosmology. Why is it that we see something instead of nothing? Look at the complexity of the human being. How is it that inanimate matter organized itself to contemplate itself? The argument strongly in science is for instead of against a divine creator. All right, uh, Pastor, we thank, thank you, you very Pastor. much for joining us live today. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right.